Sally Forth Paladins, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Commander. I'm Brad Swasmod. I am Rear Admiral Tarek of the HMS Fearless, a dreadnought class vessel with great power, as we continue our war of revenge against the evil Klingon Empire. That is right, we are kicking butt, taking names. We have captured the planet of Kronos, and we shall not be stopped. We have been promoted to Rear Admiral thanks to surviving yet another ambush by random Orion pirates. They're not really Orion pirates, they're some other random faction that happens to be operating somewhere down here. But, uh, let's keep fighting. Let's keep trying to take this gosh darn planet. This is the next step in our path of trying to, uh, cut the Klingon Empire in two. Which was not initially the plan. It just kind of came out that way when we suddenly zoomed out, took a look at the map, and realized, holy crap, we're halfway through the enemy empire, and, well, we can see the edge of the empire. So things working out quite nicely for us. Uh, we are at our cruising speed of 14 right now, looking at uh, 58, 58 power used, and we are squaring off against a frigate. Really? Really? You couldn't give us a deadly, dangerous challenge, you know, battle cruisers or something? Something that would make us go, oh my god, it's the enemy! No, it's a, it's a frigate. A little tiny frigate. Well, we are, of course, an equal opportunity annihilator, so reinforce that forward shield. Just the forward one, please. I don't need the rest of them reinforced. He's not going to survive long enough, even if he does continue this random zigzag pattern. So, closing in, a, it's an LR-1. I'm assuming three to five phaser ones and a single heavy weapon. No, this is the missile launcher variant. So, two missile launchers and four phasers. Let the phaser G's handle that. Come on, come on, just, just... There we go. That, that was... That was that. I'm sorry, what, what, what were you expecting? <laughs> Why do the pirates keep trying to ambush us? Like, they ambushed us in the last episode as the, as the last mission we went on. The episode before that, they did the same thing. Neutralized the planet. Let's keep this pressure going. Let's keep the pressure on! Because as you can see, if we manage to take this, this will be an outpost in the middle of enemy territory, giving us a perfect opportunity to finally slice the Klingon Empire in half. Hit the red alert, it's a convoy assault mission, increase our speed, immediately go to prep a world whistle. And we're at speed of 14, so by the time the uh, shields come on and everything powers up, we'll be at the perfect power. Reinforce the forward shield only, let's see what we've got. Freighter, 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 and a freighter, we do not see the escort, and we have no supporting firepower on this mission, it will just be us as we try and catch and hunt down this convoy. Fleeing from us. Where do you think they're fleeing from? We haven't taken a planet in several episodes. I think it's true now. Hey, we haven't taken a planet in a couple of episodes, so it's not like they're fleeing from some sort of massive conquest. We haven't destroyed or and or captured a starbase recently. So where are you all coming from? It looks like we have another freighter in the distance, so we're looking at a six-freighter convoy. The largest one that we've ever seen. Actually, I do th it's the smallest we've ever seen, I think, was two, because it was four, but two of them were Q-ships. And uh, the largest one is six plus escorts. So, what sort of escort are we going to run into? We haven't yet figured that out. As we increase our speed, let's go over to our power management so I can get an idea of how much power I have to sink into other things. There we go. And there it is. The convoy escort has been detected. Oh, really? Just... Really? Freighter, 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 freighter. Priority transport. Okay. Uh, according to the fleet menu, you are a PT-2, which basically means you should not have come. So increase the speed. Let's uh, go to the fighter menu. You... Hatak. Slow down time. Just momentarily. You... Hatak. You... I'm going to target with all weapons. He has a point defense system, which does actually make him dangerous to my fighters. We've got to kill him on this run, otherwise he's going to hurt my fighters bad. So let's get on right on top of the Dow Slayer. Nobody's allowed to hurt my fighters but me. Yeah, that'll show them. So we'll target this freighter in the line. We'll maintain our current speed. Yeah, we're not charging heavy weapons, but then again, we don't really need to. Maximum power to the time dilation machine. And we'll just uh, pick them off. One by one. After all, we, uh, we can do it mostly with phasers anyway. That's not really a concern. I'm anticipating you firing your Hellbores at this target. Please don't. Oh, I was hoping he wouldn't. You're dead. Next target is you. You're dead. 
Next target is you. As we zoom through at maximum speed. Coming around, get the nose on. You're dead. Next target is you. And uh, fighters got him. All taken care of. And that's how you wipe out an entire enemy convoy and capture the uh, the random planet here. Avoiding a planetary assault, which is always a good thing whenever we can manage it. Planetary assaults are cool, but they're also very dangerous. We have captured a planet in the heart of enemy territory. Let us continue our push out over here. We will uh, do a scout. Why not do the scout? Although we did do the scout the one time and forgot that we were doing the scout and uh, we all blew up the ship we were supposed to be investigating. That was embarrassing. Looks like we have an OPT-3. an OPT? Yep, OPT-3. I'm guessing some sort of incredibly weak vessel that I don't really care about. Increase the speed of time. If another vessel shows up, we will be ready for it, but I don't anticipate that happening. So our sensor systems tell us that no, there is no other, no other vessel that will show itself. Let's go to the science menu and... Yes, as she said, the sensors are being boosted so that we can get all the accurate information that we require. It would be interesting if the sensors could, well, improve your accuracy, sort of in the same way that ECCM uh, makes it easier to hit targets, although it would be better if it made it easier to hit targets even if there was an ECCM. It does cost, like, three points of power, so it's not super cheap. The battle charge, let's slow down. Come on, come on, let us shoot. <laughs> Science holds We have a complete scout. Kill. <sighs> and that's how you do a mission in 62 seconds. It's like scan complete. Yeah, kill it. 320 prestige and a neutral tile. Wow. Um, thank you. Let's let's see if we can't capitalize on this. Another mission. Convoy raid. We are just on fire today. Started with a planetary assault, captured that. Now we're going to be t capturing a space station to go with it. Hitting that red alert, we are escorted today by the Broadsword. Not HMS Broadsword. And also, the Warbride, who is apparently latched on to us for this. This is not actually crazy. Um, I don't know if it does it in this game. I'm kind of forgetting, but I do know... No, I do know that it does it in this game. So if you are in a small frigate or other tiny gunboat-class vessel... If you try and uh, do a convoy defense mission, you will actually start out sort of inside one of the uh, one of the freighters. And with the Federation freighter, it really does kind of look like you're being deployed, as if you were like docked onto it, kind of like in a very large pseudo fighter, and that they released you because you're such a small vessel. I really like it. I think it's very cool. I uh, haven't had it happen recently, though. So who is the enemy? We have a freighter, a freighter, a freighter, a freighter... A gunboat. Yeah, that's a gunboat, all right. Oh, nope, there was a target over here. It was a Mauler, too. An MDW. Er, no, it's not. It's a D6 MKR. A single Mauler, he has four Phaser 2s, three Phaser 1s, and a point defense system. I'm gonna be honest, I really think that he's got the upper hand. Uh, well, maybe not, actually. These are only defensive plasmas, so he only has a single photon torpedo and several other weapons. We're gonna go after a convoy first, because we can... And let's increase the speed to get there as soon as possible. We will deploy our fighters to take care of the stragglers. So, fighters. Uh, no. I want you to go kill. Thank you. And you will be target of him. And you, well, I'm going to basically... Well, cave your brains in with, uh, with a very powerful heavy weapon. Well, we heavy weapons. So we were actually in the perfect assault position. How is the D6? He still got his shields going, and how is the broadsword doing? Doesn't have his shields going, or at least if he did lose shields, I don't know if this was lost and came back, or if he tried to do a cheeky beam out, which I think is kind of annoying and dumb. But let's focus on the convoy, because that's our job. It's why we're here. And let the fighters go after them. He does have some kind of transport over here, but it's only equipped uh, four phaser twos. Not a threat to my fighters at all. He's got... Pretty much nothing. He's kind of screwed. The Mauler firing, managing to get a nice lancing amount of damage on the uh, Broadsword. Did it break the shields? It did. Broadsword, not having a great time. But you know what, Broadsword? You are you're an investment into a victory opportunity. Well, uh, we handle the freighters. 
Get a little closer. You are dead. That's one freighter down. Now the free trader. The free trader is actually an X-type freighter vessel. So we'll get involved with our phase of threes. It was not enough to kill him. We did have to fire two salvos in order to kill that guy. But the free trader has all X-type phasers. That is... That is impressive. It also tells us that we have gone through two eras without me paying attention and noticing. Although, to be fair, if you're not playing a race that has missiles, you really don't have a whole lot of cause to notice that sort of thing. So we're going to come around to port. We will annihilate the free trader without too much difficulty. Let's get the fighters back. I'm sure they have caused more than enough havoc. They may now return to us without hopefully getting annihilated. Hi, free trader. Um, bye, free trader. Are we buffing the forward shields? We are not. I don't know why we're not, but we're not. So, we weren't able to kill him. He is a priority transport, so he's tougher overall. Let's slow down so we can get our heavy weapons involved in this. And uh, buff that forward shield. Thank you. Ooh, that fighter barely made it home. He made it home in a little bit better shape, but we will be able to get both of those fighter squadrons back up to their full complement. Oh, hi, Mauler. I didn't see you there. Um, okay. I guess we're doing this now. That Mauler is going to have an excellent shot right into our stern. Let's slow down and let it get on top of us. And... Now. As he comes around, we just can just lay into him. Oh! That was beautiful. Just, just ripping him apart. He's not dead, but that was just... He came in, he thought he had a good angle on his... Boom. Lovely. He is maintaining a speed of 8. We're going back up to our speed of 14. You played yourself right there. You didn't even realize it. IKV victory indeed. Hit him with some more phaser fire. Let's uh, shut him down so he ain't going nowhere. Yep, he's lost all power. Let's continue our assault on this priority transport. We'll come back after you later, victory. Do you even have any systems left? Point defense systems, obviously, I mean. Um, yes, he does. We'll <laughs> let the war bride kill him. Oh, that'll be just embarrassing. One more shot was all you needed. Do you have any? No, he's going to take him three turns to recharge that shot. Uh, if the war bride had managed to annihilate him on that run, that would have just been too perfect. So we'll, uh, we'll kill this guy and then go after this guy. Actually, are there fighters ready yet? I'm imagining not. It is a difficult repair. No, they're almost done. These fighters are almost ready to rock once more. Once again, so uh, we will target you and prepare to deploy the fighters. I want to deploy them in a group because I'm a little bit concerned. No, I, I'm just... No, you weren't supposed to kill that. I'm supposed to kill that. Okay. That's three of the freighters down. Let's focus on you next. I sp yeah, we'll let you guys kill this guy with your phaser threes and we'll kill the, uh, the FT-4R. Or you can try and kill the FT-4R. I'm surprised he has a point defense system on a fighter so small. Or a freighter. Just, that was, that was so offhand. I love it. The fighters are just flying by. It's like under fire. It's like, you know what? Just screw you. And an armed priority transport over here. The Mauler is still alive. <laughs> the victory is not yet dead. So we'll come in and target this, uh, this armed priority transport. He is armed with a Phaser X, so that is something to keep in mind. Is that just a mind to screw with me after you die? Yeah. All freighters are annihilated. Fighters, get back here. Return to the vessel. You have used up all your Hellbores, I assume. And let's come around and kill the victory. Increase the speed of time. We're going to do this a little bit more speed. Just pull on in, wipe him out. So, one fighter squadron. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the other one? Two fighter squadrons! No, get, get on board! Ah, ah, ah! Oh boy. Why is the victory not dead? No, this is, that's a legit question. Why is he not dead? You're sitting on top of him. He has no systems left. <sighs> we'll do it for you. Target destroyed. Mission complete. Convoy eliminated. The people fleeing from the planet trying to get to that station there at the last minute, hoping that they could stay in the war? No, we're not allowing that. No, you're out of this war, son. You're done. 240 prestige, not a whole lot. But it wasn't a uh, very well-defended convoy. It was only a mauler. So we have almost completed the line. The line of battle! 
which shall cut this entire sector to pieces. Hit another patrol. I'm assuming this is going to be a pirate patrol. It doesn't say that here, but generally the second one tends to be a pirate option. Yep, Orion vessels. Orion ships. Hit that red alert. Increase the speed. We are escorted today by HMS Inexorable. Inexorable. The Inexorable. She is equipped, of course, with three fusion cannons, two hellbores, three phaser twos, two phaser ones, and two phaser gs, and a light carrier, USS Richmond, equipped with a fairly significant point defense system, although it is only a point defense system. A. So he's got three of those, four phaser ones, two fa two photon torpedoes, two missile launchers, and four phaser threes, because he wanted to make sure that anything those triple uh, ARAC anti-missile defense systems couldn't handle, he still had phasers left over just to deal with those. And, he, yeah, he is the, uh, the gorgeous design, mostly a constitution refit, although you can tell by these, uh, little additional sensor arrays, this is actually designed off a, uh, off a galactic survey cruiser. Very common vessel that we see. One of the better Starfleet heavy cruisers early on in the war. Just because they have a missile launcher on board, they've got better system balance in general. They're, they're quite nice ships. Uh, squaring off against a frigate. Um, we're not even going to bother with the overload. We're just going to come right in on this guy. So set the course direct to him. No need to do any sorts of crazy maneuvers. Reinforce that forward shield at the full of the power. And just watch. <laughs> watch this get closer and closer and closer. No, oh, he's going to try and run. There will be no running. There will be also be no special maneuvers. I'm literally just setting the ship into fly straight forward at him. And good night. As we see our vessel sort of fly through the debris field, not a care in the world. Just wiping out our enemies one by one. And how did that do for us? How much cash? 112. 94, not even 112. That's, uh, well, I suppose that's totally acceptable. We, we pretty much bullied a single ship. We have another patrol mission. This one I do believe would be Klingons. I hope it will be Klingons. Klingons are more fun to kill. No, they are Tigerheart, which is another group of Orions. So hit that red alert. We are escorted today by the Deathwing, which is a battlecruiser. Uh, equipped with a Plasma S torpedo for th And two Phaser C, or Phaser Cs. No, two, uh, two missile launcher Cs which are the fast-firing kind. They fire twice every turn. He also has a considerable number of Phaser 1s. He's definitely a Phaser boat for a battlecruiser. It's actually pretty light for a battlecruiser. That's... really? Yeah, BCH-3. He's a heavy battlecruiser, but he's only got three heavy weapons. They must really be putting a lot of faith into those Phasers. I wouldn't put that much faith in those Phasers. We are fighting a single freighter. He is an OF... OFTR-2. So whatever that's going to get you. So we will prep the forward shields to the max, if you don't mind. And increase the speed of time. And if another ship doesn't show up, this is just going to be another ugly repeat of what we had just done. Fighting the pirates, as you can see, is not particularly as entertaining. Mainly because the pirates don't know how to fight. It's like, why? You're a freighter. You're meant to be smuggling. Well, maybe he, is, maybe he thinks that he's going to get by our checks, but what he doesn't realize is that we had a Quisling on his crew, someone who would uh, give us all the information about what they were smuggling and when, and he just so happened to catch sick before the journey, and so he was not on board, and so when it flew into our waiting arms, we knew exactly what they were transporting. Spice, obviously. Have you ever noticed how spice tends to be, like, the main thing that's an evil drug? In so many science fictions, it's some kind of spice, which is the bad thing. We've neutralized that. Uh, that uh, I want that tile, though. I want that tile. Why you gotta do me like this? It's a star base that's currently on an open tile. Why would you stop me from killing it? We are fighting a fighter, a fighter, a fighter, a fighter. Freighter. Freighter, 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 freighter. A D6U. Okay, interesting. Oh, we didn't go to red alert! We forgot the red alert! <laughs> oh, we're just sorting, shields down, getting ready to have a good time. Call it a beach party or something. Fighters, get underway. You've got to go kill stuff. We're escorted today by some ship. We'll take a look at it in just a second. And back down to normal time. So, uh, 
heavy cruiser, a D6U. Where's our friendly? Is he dead already? I didn't realize I missed the yeah, he's dead. Look, that's that's his debris. He's uh he's having a bad day. Okay. So a D6U is an interdiction cruiser or a carrier. So he will be equipped with, as you can see, one, two, three, four squadrons of fighters. Wow, that's pretty significant. And a D6U pattern, too. That's that's surprising. We should be able to wipe them out, though. Even though we're not particularly accurate. Uh, is our shields are not raised. Maximum forward. Reinforce. Fire! Okay, we killed the one. Come to port. Lay a mine. He's gonna hit our stern. Although we did force him away. Our weapons are not ready to fire as of yet, though. We're gonna eat this one tight. Oh, stop! No, these weapons weren't ready. Alright, keep turning, keep turning. Bring another mine. Get ready to deploy it. Now. We're basically trying to force these fighters so that they can't get on top of us while our weapons recharge for basically another shot. Our fighters are currently doing point defense work now, even though we told them to attack, but their target must be annihilated by now. Fighters. Kill the fighters. That is the only thing that matters. Uh, just check our forward, make sure that we're not about to hit anything. Keep shooting at the fighters. And yes, we're shooting at a tiny fighter squadron because if we can kill it... Okay, all fighters are destroyed, it would seem. So now this D6U only has a couple of light phasers. Oh, he is down to seven phaser twos. He just does not have an armament capable of hurting us anymore. So let's come around. Also, we do need to call one of you home. You, you're coming home. You're down to... Okay. Just lashing out one at a time, hitting him with all our heavy weapons. As he comes around, hit him with a couple of more. Where are my damaged fighters? There they are. Come on home, guys. We want you back. We want you in full one piece. After all, you are very expensive to replace. They're not as expensive as they could be, although by this era we could probably upgrade our fighters to something bigger. Three of the fighters are down. Coming around. It's the war song. Oh, that brings back memories. Target. All weapons select. Wasn't enough. Just keep firing all the face. There we go. How are you doing? What sort of fighter squad? You're at three, so you're still okay. So we'll set course for this FSML as uh, you basically go to rip apart this one. So we are on course, increasing speed. The Relinko something, I didn't have time to read it. So on target, closing at basically double his speed. Because he's doing 7.6, we are doing 14 all. Let's increase speed just a little bit so we are doing more than double his speed. We could actually probably go even faster, but I think the fighter's going to get to him. It did. Return to me. Oh, forgot to uh, turn the time down. I was trying to get him to return and then turn the time down. Because I was greedy. So, target eliminated. 284 prestige. And please tell me this would be a nice, quick, easy to do mission. What's a Federation tile doing in the middle of here? Really? So then another patrol. Hopefully we can kill this real quick. Get that ready. It's a green ship. Red alert. We have a target. She is a heavy cruiser. What kind of heavy cruiser? A D7ER. And to our stern... Oh, it's a trap. We have a frigate. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm reading what you're saying. Helm, don't bother getting us out of here. Seriously, a D7, even an E, is not, not something we should be afraid of. Overload the weapons. Increase speed up to our cruising speed of, like, around here so that we can charge everything while we go in after this frigate. Basically, we're going to blow up this frigate in one go. We're going to turn around, slice him apart, and that'll be two vessels down for the price of, well, none. Let's reinforce this forward shield. Reinforce forward only. We're on the half. Ooh, you're actually fairly significantly well armored. You are an F6, which does make you a much more modern destroyer. So he is quite quite heavily equipped. So I do have to give him points for that. Unfortunately, he's not that heavily equipped. Set back to normal. Come to starboard. Actually, slow down. Set to overload. Down to our speed of four. 
see what he does with this. Yeah, we may have time to do this. And if we do... Oh, a D7ER, what type are you? You're some kind of refit. I'm assuming a phaser refit. Come on. Come on, get our heavy weapons ready to go. No, he's not. He's just a... He's just a slightly more modern version. He's not even... This is... What is this? He's equipped with a B-type missile rack, which does make him a little bit more modern. But he's down to four disruptors, three phaser twos, and four phaser threes. I don't understand the setup of your ship, sir. Let's increase our speed. We're at normal speed. All weapons select. We are at the overload. So heavy weapons, prepare to kill. Kill. He didn't die in one pass. Okay, there is that. Uh, he's also pretty much out of well, ship at this point. Excuse me. So fighters, deploy! Deploy and kill him. Just basically fire your, your super heavy weapons into him and make him cry. And we can we can go home for ice cream. Or better yet, shoot him! Yes, shoot him! And we have pizza and margarita shooters. So we're coming around preparing the forward weapons to fire, although we may not get a chance. They are pretty good with those. Nope, we're gonna get out of the shot. Stand by, stand by, and fire. Eliminated. Return to me. Didn't have the chance, doesn't really matter. They'll come back home. They're right on top of us anyway. And that will grab us a tile. And that is gonna complete the total cutoff of this. I mean, sure, we're missing one tile here, but... But we've got a total line. This is our line through the Klingon Empire. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.